Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Mac here with tutorial number three on YouTube APIs. And let me just get started because we're going to be typing a lot in this example. So let's just make our function that we're missing. So it's function handle alteration result, guys. All right. Once we have that, we want to make an, another thing inside here called result. Now let's close our... Uh, function add some space and we gotta do an if and else so if you're already connected if authorization has a value we want to display some things and not display some things so we're gonna do dot hmm we're gonna do dot pre authorization equals hide so the class in uh, HTML, we, we wanted to hide because you're already connected. And then we want post authorization to show because we're connected. All right. And then else, if you're not connected, we do else. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because so we can keep a track of our brackets and such and such. If we have errors, it's not like a, a pre-coded thing. This is just me out of my head right now. So I'm doing, if you're not connected, it's basically going to be the opposite of this. So I'm just going to copy and paste this just to save time. Control C. And there we have it. And I'm just going to change these to show and this one to hide and we also want to do a couple more things to this so we're going to make another one <clears throat> this is going to be our login one a login button so we're going to do that login link i believe i named it let me just go back to my html i named it login link yes All right, so in our login link, we want to give it a click method. Inside the click method, we're going to do a function. All right, so inside our function, we're going to have another one called G API authorization authorize and that looks pretty good all right so <clears throat> before i end this actually not the tutorial but that comma all right we're in three minutes in almost done with this function so here we're doing the same thing we did on top so we do client id i'm kind of lazy right now guys so what i'm going to do is just copy and paste these three right here Control c because we are not logged in what i'm going to do is turn that to false all right get this and turn it to false and now that we have that in false, what we're going to do is <clears throat> in here. After that, we have to go back to our handle and make sure that we're logged in. So that looks good, guys. Now, <clears throat> one thing is that, right, you're logged in, it's not going to do anything. So we're going to make a new function called load API. All right. So in this AP, in this uh, function, what we're gonna do is basically load the API. This part is not so confusing as the top part. It's kind of simple, and uh, <clears throat> let's just get started. I'm gonna do g API client load. And we're going to do YouTube 
and then we'll do the other parameter what version we'll do version 3 of the api and then we're going to do our function in here and oops sorry why did i do that let me just organize this real quick so it's easier to fix errors there we go and inside this one we got to make another one called gapi dot client dot load youtube analytics i believe i spelled it right hopefully i did <laughs> analytics and it's going to be version version one Call another function. And inside here, <clears throat> what we're going to do is get user channel. And that looks good. Now, for our next function, you guys don't have to do this in functions. I'm just doing this because it's a lot neater. But yeah, so get user, get user channel. This one's also not that hard. Let me just see how much time we have left. Six minutes, awesome. My last time I recorded this, it was about 12 minutes, and I was like, no, I gotta start this over, guys. So yeah, six minutes. <clears throat> and in this one, it's basically we're making a request. So it's basically like a query. So we'll do G api dot client youtube so we're already connected by now and what we're doing here is get channel channels list so these are all things that are in those classes that we include before so in here i'm going to drop this down like i always do <clears throat> and uh there we go. And here we're going to make our request. So our requesting is we're going to tell YouTube that that channel is theirs. We're also going to tell YouTube what we want to get. So we're going to get part of the channel. So we're going to, we're going to get the ID of the channel. Oops. And the ID of the channel. We're also going to get the content details of the channel. And we can end that. <clears throat> and then outside of that, we want to execute our request. So we're going to do execute. And we've got to get a response. So we're going to do function response. All right, so in our on our response is where we're gonna user friendly stuff basically. So in our response, we're gonna do if error in response. So if there's an error in our response, what we're gonna do is display message. response response dot error dot message and else else if there is an error we're going to do is get channel id equals response dot items and the reason why we're going to put zero at the moment right now is because that's the first thing we executed so zero dot id and after that guys we're going to make one more function called display display channel id i just made that up right now <clears throat> and and here we're going to do display channel 
ID. Oop, why did I add that? I'm going to do function. And I got to send the channel ID to this. I'm going to do channel ID. And here, receive it as channel. And then I'm going to do alert. Channel. All right, so we have our basic application done in about 10 minutes. Great. So we went over a lot here, and uh, I'm just going to test this real quick and then try to explain a bit more. So I'm going to do drag that in, refresh my page, connect, and right for a second, it's not connecting. Now I'm going to check over this real quick and uh, check why it's not connecting, and uh, I'll be right back in one second. All right, guys, it's Mac AC Tutorials here continuing this, and I know exactly what I did wrong, and it's right here, guys. All right, it should look like this. I spelled it wrong, I spelled it like this, and that's not how you spell it, you spell it like this. So, yeah, and then, and how I figured this out is through the brackets, like I told you, this is right, right way to code. And uh, basically what I did is I went here, and I write, all right, in the post, I put connected so I know when I'm connected and it wasn't displaying connected at all so I was like all right so it has to be somewhere in here and basically what I was checking I was like all right let me see if I spelled it wrong so I was checking checking and boom there was spelled one letter so basically just yes, check over your code maybe you don't have to maybe yours works mine doesn't but now it should work and I'm gonna show you what it what it displays so I'm gonna save this and I think I spelled it right again, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna drop that in. And I'm gonna click. Now, I already clicked the connect button to test it. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, yeah, whatever. But it's gonna ask you to connect and you're gonna have to click accept, blah, blah, blah. But uh, <clears throat> after that, you should get this. You should get a, a, a like, a, an alert an uh, alert window and this is your id this is what we generated or queried and got and the reason why it says connected this is not generated either this is just basically what i told it to display as my test basically i just went here and i told you i made this class visible once you're connected so that's basically it guys we have our id now and that with our id we can get our user like all his subscribers, his analytics, his everything, basically almost everything in his channel, how much he's earning. You can, yeah, if you have permission, you can actually get how much he's earning and uh, his views and such and such. You can make a really cool dashboard, a really nice form. And that's basically it, guys. So this video is pretty long, 13 minutes, but we got a finished application done. And next, our next application, we're actually gonna be making a, a form using this API. I mean, using this uh, this ID. Sorry about that. I have the hiccups. But that's it, guys. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and uh, see you in the next tutorial.